Okay, welcome back from your James Lang reading, and we're going to dig into aims have value here as we prepare for this second chunk. And that key question with aims having value, is it worth it? So worth can be intrinsic, motivated by something deeply guiding the student values, beliefs, an urge to know something, and it can also be in extrinsic uh, rewards, being noted for mastery. So aims have value in these four categories. They get satisfaction from mastering it. Aims can accumulate value as students practice things along the way, and that's the satisfaction from doing and maybe reaching the aim overall. The goal or the aim can help students achieve other things. That could be that extrinsic motivation once again. Um, but it also has value in terms of the time that they're doing, the anxiety and their own self-worth. So very personal dimensions also to aims having value. And to think about how you can position uh, the course, the goals of the course, the aims of an assignment so that they have value. Again, we're going to go back to um, planning, activities, and assessment, those three kinds of agencies that are involved. In one way, to think about course having value is to create a learning syllabus. We'll be talking more about this in the class, but I hope you saw some of that in the syllabus I offered you all and that you all annotated, that there is a way that it expresses why we're here together, how the course will benefit you as a learner, and then connecting that to authentic purposes, that this will help you teach, in our example, in a world that you will move into. You'll see some more examples of that, obviously, when we get to the syllabus assignment, but thinking about your plan for learning. Do you invite students in to understand the course from the beginning and its link to their learning and to the values they may hold? The second one is to think about with values, um, students valuing your course, are the learning activities valuable? Do they connect to what the students already know, want to know, and need to know? that you're really being selective about what you're planning for activities. There's no busy work, that something helps them achieve some sense of mastery, that they get some feedback that knows that their learning matters and that they can learn, that they can move ahead. And again, that's partly engaging the emotional um, aspects to capture students' attention. You've read some and talked about that in the early atmosphere. What um, entices students to think about this. How can you let them know that they shouldn't be afraid to take the next step to learn more or that learning will be uncomfortable, but they will get some feedback to move forward? Those activities are part of something having value. Is it worth my taking the risk to show that I don't know in order to move forward? That's part of assessment. You're making the learning visible and viable by thinking about how am I going to plan my course and set it out so people can grow in their understanding and they're caring about this subject and they're valuing of what they're learning in the course? Uh, how will I make it visible? How will I let them know what they're doing is linked to their learning? How can I have them put into words what they're learning, which is part of, oh, this is worth it. I did learn these things. Acknowledge their learning and then in making some choices about how to move forward in what they're going to learn next. So I'm going to pause here and we'll move into a second segment in just a second.